Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Tuesday, the 19th of December. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we're going to be singing our hymn throughout the uh, service today. It's Hail to the Lord's Anointed, and we'll sing the first verse now. Hail to the Lord's Anointed, great David's greater Son. Hail in the time appointed, his reign on earth begun. He comes to break oppression, to set the captive free, to take away transgression and rule in equity. And our psalm is a portion of Psalm 47, which we say together. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is awesome, a great King over all the earth. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm. God is king over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people gather as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now we will sing the next two verses of our hymn. He comes with succor speedy to those who suffer wrong, to help the poor and needy and bid the weak be strong, to give them songs for sighing that darkness turn to light. Whose souls condemned and dying were precious in his sight. He shall come down like showers upon the fruitful earth, and love, joy, hope like flowers spring in his path to birth. Before him on the mountains shall peace the herald go, and righteousness in fountains from hill to valley flow. Our gospel is Matthew 24, 32 to 44, the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you. Lord Jesus Christ. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is here. So also, when you see all these things, you know that he is near, at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day and hour no one knows, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. For as the days of Noah were, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them all away, so too will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two will be in the field, one will be taken, and one will be left. Two women will be grinding meal together, one will be taken, and one will be left. Keep awake, therefore, 
for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So all of us are probably getting ready for Christmas, but we must remember, and this gospel lesson reminds us, that we are still in Advent. And Advent isn't just about preparing for Christmas. It's especially about preparing for the coming of Christ. The coming of Christ at the end of time, but also the coming of Christ who comes to us again and again in our lives. The co to have eyes that are open, ready to see him. The coming of Christ, as the king says, uh, I was hungry and thirsty and you provided for me and what you did for the least of my brothers and sisters you did to me. That coming of Christ, the coming of Christ into our lives, into our daily lives. We need to have eyes open to see Christ. Um, now, these words in the gospel can be a little fearful. You know, two will be grinding at the mill and one will be taken, one will be, one will be left. It sounds a bit fearful, but really uh, we ought to be expecting the advent of our king the coming of christ uh, to fulfill uh, god's promise as as people with great expectation expectation that christ comes to save us uh, to bring us home um, so i hope that we can have the faith and the knowledge of christ and the confidence in christ uh, to know he is coming to save us to bring us home but also that Christ comes to us in the midst of our lives in uh, the guise of the stranger, the stranger in need, or the kind stranger. Uh, Christ comes to us. May we have eyes to recognize Christ. Let us sing the next verse of our hymn. King shall bow down before him, and gold and incense bring. All nations shall adore him, his praise all people sing. To him shall prayer unceasing, and daily vows ascend. His kingdom still increasing, a kingdom without end. And now let us say the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Uh, as we're still in, in, in the last week of Advent, uh, we will use our Advent litany today, and the response is, Lord Jesus, come soon. O wisdom from the mouth of the Most High, you reign over all things to the ends of the earth. Come and teach us how to live. Lord Jesus, come soon. O Lord and head of the house of Israel, you appeared to the Moses in the fire of the burning bush, and you gave the law on Sinai. Come with outstretched arm and ransom us. Lord Jesus, come soon. O branch of Jesse, standing as a sign among the nations, all kings will keep silence before you, and all peoples will summon you to their aid. Set us free, and delay no more. Lord Jesus, come soon. O key of David, and scepter of the house of Israel, you open and none can shut. You shut and none can open. Come and free the captives from prison. Lord Jesus, come soon. O morning star, Splendor of the light eternal and bright sun of righteousness, come and enlighten all who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death. 
Lord Jesus, come soon. O King of the nations, you alone can fulfill their desires. Cornerstone, you make op opposing nations one. Come and save the creature you fashioned from clay. Lord Jesus, come soon. O Emmanuel, hope in the nations and their Savior. Come and save us, Lord our God. Lord Jesus, come soon. In our prayers, we continue to pray for peace. We pray for the peace of the world and all those areas that do not know peace at this time. We continue to pray for the people of Gaza, the people of the West Bank, the people of the rest of Palestine and Israel, the people of Ukraine, people of many, many nations. We pray, O oh Lord, that world leaders and national leaders might have their hearts turned to peace and that they might recognize the sacredness and dignity of every human life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today in our cycle of prayer for the sick, we pray for Jeff Smith, Edith Walsh, Olive Mould, Yvonne Lytle, Verna Laverne, Carolyn, Marion Angel, Chris Angel, Ron Roseland Barnes, Jim Glass, Daryl Wilson, Robert Hakima, Hakima and Anne, Stephen and Diane Scruton, and Helen. We pray, O Lord, for all the sick that they might know the healing touch of Jesus and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have asked us to pray for them, those who have asked us uh, through our online prayer request. Today, we continue to pray for Steve Martin for recovery from surgery to the hand. We pray for Mark for direction in his life. And we pray for uh, Jocelyn Desautel, recovering from shoulder and arm surgery. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might also know Jesus' healing touch and know that there is a community praying for them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today we pray for some more members of our parish, and if you are joining us from another community, I invite you to pray for members of your community as well. Today we pray for Lloyd, Amanda, Madison, and Zachary Shearer, for Pat Sherwood. Uh, we pray for Derek and Thelma Shimon, for Wayne and Catherine Shiplow, for Francis Showers, for Elnora Simmons, for Ben, Allison, Florence, Rosemary, and Edward Sitch, for Michael and Janice Scaffold, for Aideen Slater, and for Janice Sloan White. We pray for each one, O oh Lord, for their health, well-being, and happiness. We pray, O oh Lord, that as we approach this season of Christmas, that they might have time uh, to experience the joy of Christ's birth, and possibly, if possible, with family and friends. We pray that they might know they belong to a community of faith that cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for a province and two dioceses of the Anglican Communion. Today we pray for the Anglican Church of Papua New Guinea. We also pray for the Diocese of Bentiu in the province of the Episcopal Church of South Sudan. And we pray for the Diocese of Bermuda, which is an extra-provincial diocese. We pray, O oh Lord, for their archbishop, their bishops, clergy, and people. We pray, O oh Lord, for the mission that is yours for them in their place. We pray for their we, we pray that they might have the resources to carry out that mission and to in this season of Advent to joyfully be waiting in expectation of the coming of Christ. And we pray that they might be encouraged, knowing that the world is praying for them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. Today we pray for Brother Jim Woodrum. We give you thanks, O Lord, for his ministry, for his deep commitment to the gospel, for his musical talents, which he shares, for his great sense of humor and mirth, for his deep wisdom, 
We pray that your grace might continue to flow richly through him, through his teaching and preaching and all that he does. And we pray that he might know he is supported in prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray our night prayer from the Anglican Church of New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And we pray our colic for this week. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now let us sing the final verse of our hymn. For every foe victorious, he on his throne shall rest. From age to age more glorious, all blessing and all bless. The tide of time shall never his covenant remove. His name shall stand forever, his changeless name of love. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us in evening prayer tonight. I hope you'll be able to join us on Thursday night as well. We've got a full lineup of services for you uh, on the weekend. Of course, uh, Sunday is not only Advent 4, so we have our 815 service, we do not have our 10 a.m. service, though, because we've got four Christmas Eve services that day as well. 4 p.m., 6 p.m., 8 p.m., and 10 p.m. Uh, the 4 p.m. is especially uh, designed for families, uh, but all people are welcome to come to any and all of those services if they like. And then Christmas Day on Monday, we have our 10 a.m. Christmas Day service. So I hope you'll be able to join us. Uh, either in person or uh, online. We are going to be uh, live streaming both the 6 p.m. service on Christmas Eve and also the 8 p.m. service on Christmas Eve. So we've got all kinds of options. Uh, come to the mall if you like. Um, but I wish you, uh, for tonight, a good night's sleep and all God's blessings. <laughs>